Danielle, it's nice to see you. Happy New Year. Haven't seen you yet. Um, but I saw some great tennis tonight from you. Wow, that was impressive from our eyes. But I want to get your take on it. What did you think of your level here in the first round of the Australian Open? Well, first of all, I'm also really happy to see you during the match when uh, I was leading two sets to laugh. I was thinking to myself, is Jim uh, here to, to take the interview from the winner? Because I haven't seen you yet. So I was like, I'm sure he's here. So happy to see you. And uh, yeah, really happy with the match. Uh, Marcus is a tough opponent. And uh, uh, to beat him with this score uh, in the first round of a slam is, uh, is great. And I'm really happy about my level and looking forward to next matches. Excellent. And you've been excellent at this tournament the last couple of years. A finalist, two years running. What a Take you back to last year. You had an amazing run out to the finals. What are your memories of last year's Australian Open? <laughs> a lot, huh? <laughs> Crazy matches uh, against Nick, against Felix, uh, against Cressy, and of course against Rafa. So uh, I want to say great memories, but uh, definitely want to have uh, better ones uh, this year. Well, you're going to create some more soon. A couple, uh, couple of days, you'll be back. You'll play an Aussie in the second round. That happened to you last year as well. This time it's against someone you've never played before. John Millman, a veteran. I'm surprised you guys have never played before. Your thoughts on taking on uh, Aussie John? Yeah, it's true that in kind of si uh, five, six years that I'm on the tour, we never played. Uh, he's a great player, especially here in Australia. I remember uh, he almost beat Roger, beat Roger in the US Open when Roger was, I want to say, kind of at the top. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's capable of playing some great tennis, so I'm going to have to play my best also, and uh, hopefully people are going to see a great match. We look forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wonderful pleasure to see Daniel Medvedev back here in Australia. Well done. Oh, they've got to see themselves on the big screen. I mean, is it past their bedtime? It's worth it when you're getting to see a former world number one in action, isn't it, Fitzy? Yeah, he, he, it is a pleasure to watch him. He, he is a, a bit of a, a mad genius on the tennis court, isn't he? He, he, he? he comes up with stuff that no one else has. He's, he's quite unique, I think, Medvedev, and uh, really interesting player to watch for me. And uh, he, he just had too many guns tonight for Marcus Garon and, and you know I, I was glad that Garon got on the, the board eventually in that second set because that made him feel a bit better he he was squeezed out of the first the, the matchup wasn't good for him but this guy oh don't throw don't throw don't throw guys what otherwise player. it's what about to be impossible don't throw anyway <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good that they sign isn't it it's always awkward there to sign too because they've got to reach up their arms are reaching up the whole time after they've played three sets one by one one by one yeah i'm not sure if i could make it if i was having to sign uh, sorry one, one the end for a match there otherwise my, uh, one everyone's gonna get it uh, That's not fair. <laughs> anyway it's uh, approaching the midnight hour here as daniel signs off a winner is that a sign off What is that, Fitzy?